Let's look at compiling a C program using the Visual Studio command prompt. So I'm going to start by looking at my computer and you can see that here I've got a removable disk which actually is a USB stick and this is called the E drive and on the E drive I've got a folder called other work but now I'm going to create a new folder here um, and let's just call this new folder lab and this is where I'm going to store my C source file. Now of course at the moment this folder is completely empty. I'm going to begin by creating a new text document, so just a plain text file. And our C source files always end with a .c extension, so I'm just going to call this hello.c. And to begin with, I'm going to edit this empty source file with a very basic text editor called Notepad. So now I just begin by typing the source code for the C program. So this always begins with hash include, stdio.h, which is short for standard IO. Um, then I'm going to use the printf function to print some output to the screen. And this is wrapped up inside a function called the main function, and we'll talk a little bit about how the main function works later. So I'm just going to save the source file, and you can see that this is now stored on disk. Okay, so let's open up the Visual Studio command prompt tool. And you can see that when we do this, we get a current directory displayed to us, C drive, program files, and so on, which I'm highlighting here. Now, this is not where my source file is currently stored. So what I need to do is change that so we are working within the folder where my source file is stored. And there are several basic commands that we can use to navigate around this window. Um, the first command I'm going to use is typing in the name of the drive, which is E in this case, followed by a colon. So now the current drive becomes the E drive. Um, if I type DIR, I get a listing of the two folders that exist within my uh, E drive or my USB stick. Now CD, followed by the name of the folder, lab, will change the directory to be that folder. And you can see that my source file, hello.c, exists inside that folder. So the, the name of the command that we use to compile this code is cl, followed by w4, followed by hello.c, and now we've compiled the source file. And you can see that on disk we've got this new folder called hello.exe created, and we run the program just by typing the name of that file, hello. And there's the output.